Hey guys, welcome to another autopilot video. This is going to be, uh, we're, we're still on version 10.2, but the software number is 12.6, which just uh, became a wide release this weekend. Um, so welcome to another um, current state of autopilot video. Right now I'm on a freeway, and uh, I'm going to be heading towards an exit. Uh, I'm going to bump up my speed a little bit. It's requesting to change a lane here. Of course, it still doesn't change lanes unless I tell it I'm awake with the uh, uh, with the steering wheel, and then it performs the lane change when it thinks it's it's ready. Um, yeah, so we're continuing. I expect this to be pretty smooth sailing, and we're going to take an exit um, up ahead a little later. I think I'll try to do a freeway exchange, although that really hasn't changed that much either. What has changed is that we now have. Uh, traffic lights and stop signs response. So the system has been detecting those intersections for a while, but now it will actually stop at them. And we'll go into that a little bit. Right now it's basically just staying between the lines, adjusting speed, whatever. Um, oh, so and now in my vehicle I do have hardware 3. I got that installed in uh, was it early March or end of February? I can't remember. Uh, right before the lockdowns and virus stuff. So I have much less sway. We've also had uh, several autopilot um, updates or software updates uh, since then. So the vehicle really is not swaying between the lines as much as it used to, which is great. Um, it doesn't feel as locked on the center as AP1 does, but that's okay. This kind of, it, Now it feels like natural driving. It doesn't feel like... Uh, you know, a drunk driver. Um, so up ahead, the car is going to need to get into the right lane. I hope it does that. Uh, we'll see. The lane markings in the right also get pretty sketchy uh, right around this curve, so we'll see what it does. It's slowing down uh, below the speed limit. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not turning for me. It did slow me down to 45 for some reason. Stay straight to take the Michigan 44, Michigan 37 South Rail. Now it knows it's okay. So I'm not sure why this is a new, actually kind of a temporary situation here with this road because they're doing so much construction. So it's a little hairy here for autopilot anyway. But. And then here it's just going to take this curve and um, it'll come to a stoplight. So we'll now. It was stopping at the first intersection after a freeway anyway. Oh, we're slowing down pretty aggressively here. All right. Um, but now it will actually show the uh, intersection and tell me that it's stopping there. So nav on autopilot still is only on the freeway, so it's ending. It's telling me it's going to end at about, well, right here. So now it initiates the uh, exit strategy. And then... Um, should stop at this intersection. Now turn right onto East Beltline Avenue Northeast. Stopping. So it's still doing this and it's telling me it's got a stop line right there. It's got all the red lights shown, um, the turn markings, and it stopped. Now initially, now actually at first the light was green and it, and it said uh, stopping unless I use the accelerator or the cruise stock to tell it to continue. If the light stays green and you move uh, the stock or you just tap the accelerator, the car will go through the intersection and continue on its merry way unless it's a red light. Even if you tell it to go forward on a red light, it will not. Which is a cool feature. So, um, yeah. So Autopilot's not going to do anything in terms of turns yet. So, um, it's telling me if this light turns green and I was going straight, all I would have to do is press the accelerator when the light was green and it would continue through, but I have to turn. So uh, we'll be right back when, um, when that's adjusted. All right, I'm gonna get in the right lane because when you have the uh, intersection uh, features activated, it will only go the speed limit. So we're coming up to a green light here and um, one of the things uh, notice here is that it's been showing these lights. Okay, slight force. It's saying it's stopping. I'm going to push the accelerator. Now I let go. So I just told it to go ahead and go through the intersection. And it did. Now look how bright those green lights are. That's different. So the color of the light is now much brighter in the display 
than it was when it was just detecting these. So that's really cool. All right, we're coming up to another green light. I can see it, you probably can't. Unless you have a 4K display. And it's saying it's stopping, it's slowing down. I push the accelerator to say, no, it's okay. And on we go. So the difference between this and what it used to do is that it used to go faster and it used to just go through the intersections, um, which I could turn it off. But um, if there's a red light, uh, then all I have to do is nothing. It will bring itself to a stop and then I just push the accelerator when I need to go. Same song, fourth verse. Green light, it's telling me it stops. It's gonna stop, it's slowed down. I push the accelerator and we keep going. Uh, Toyota cuts me off. Not really though, I'm going so slow. Oh, look at that, we're actually going 55. Oh, okay, so if it's a divided road, autopilot will still go above, five above, so that's good. So I misspoke earlier. It's just on undivided roads that it won't go above the speed limit. Unless you have traffic control off, and then it will go five above. Coming up to another green light. But it's hard to go the speed limit because you essentially obstruct traffic behind you if there's cars. Okay, I'm telling it to go again, and I'm gonna take off now. We don't need that. Notice how bright those green lights are. All right, well. I've been going along with some uh, intersections and stoplights and I wanted to film something, but it's all so boring. Uh, it's just doing everything correctly, basically. It is kind of nice when you're coming up to a red light and you want to activate autopilot for the rest of the drive. You don't have to wait till you get to the stop, get to the stoplight, stop, let your foot off the pedal, engage autopilot, and then autopilot will stay behind the car in front of you. Now you can just turn it on autopilot and it will stop at the red light. So here we are. And you can't like pre-activate it for the green light. So like it's gonna stop here and um, it's saying it's stopping So I can't, you can't tell it to go forward until the green light comes, and now I can, I gotta get better at not jerking the car when I do the accelerator. Although autopilot still is not that aggressive right off the line, at least timing wise. Once it decides to go, yeah, it kind of pulls away. They've improved that, but it kind of waits a little too long for the car in front of you to start going, which is fine if there's not much traffic, but um, it can kind of slow people down behind you. All right, here I am at a red light, first in line, and uh, it's going to turn green unless the end world unless the world ends first. All right, told it to go. Cautiously, it proceeds. Very cautiously. In 1,000 feet, take the US 131 south ramp on the right toward Grand Rapids. All right. Let's do a. Oops. Go ahead. Let's do a freeway. Oh, I don't know why it freaked out there. Now take the US There's a green light, and I told it to go. Oh well. We're going to take a freeway on ramp. Oh wow. It's already on to navigate on autopilot. Look at that. This lane ended in the on-ramp, so I think that's why, but that's kind of cool. So I never even had to turn. So now we're going to do, a, I think it's a 270 degree turn, three quarters of a circle. So let's do some uh, merging here, see where we are with autopilot. Again, there's hardly any cars, so this should be pretty easy. Speed limit is 70, at least right now, and we're only going 40, 34, 5. 
and it wants to merge on at 55 miles per hour. Okay. Better get going, autopilot. Mercedes behind me is wondering what's going on. All right, I'm gonna manually tell it to get going. So that's still not so good with autopilot. It really needs to assume freeway speed faster. Uh, looks like we got some construction. Yeah, so we're gonna see a bunch of cones. Cone rendering is uh, very good, actually too good. It renders some things that are not cones into cones. It's only a matter of time before they update what those look like in the display. Finally, Mr. or Mrs. Mercedes decided to go around me. Well, this is more of nothing, so autopilot, just being autopilot, and uh, mastering the uh, cruise along freeways. So, um, yeah, check in a little bit later. Okay, we are going to take this freeway exchange. Uh, we'll be going to the right. So, hopefully autopilot's not sleeping. We got some oncoming, not oncoming, we got some merging traffic on the right. We're going to be merging to the right. And I think we got to go two lanes over. We got some time. Considering moving, all right, now we're going to merge. Slowing, slowing down. So I guess we're going to do a S curve here. Kind of a reverse S curve. And just run over that branch. Snaking around. All right. And I'm going to. Okay, let's not run over that small mammal. Well, because of the mammal in the road, uh, I guess it wasn't a pure autopilot test. But it was doing fine. This part is actually tricky. Now it knows that a couple of these lanes are going to end in exits, so uh, it's very smart to uh, do that. Uh, I think I'm going to take Alpine, actually instead of the other exit. Alpine South, we might run into some stop signs there. Let's see if we can do autopilot for this curve. Don't see why not. These uh, Pirelli Scorpio 22 inch rims and sport wheels are definitely more grippy than snow tires when it's warm. I can see why they don't wear, I mean, don't use snow tires on tracks for racing. There's ice around though. Man, snow tires are amazing. All right, uh, it looks like these are mostly lights. Take the freeway. But I do want to take this one. I think on three mile we might be able to find some stop signs here. Alright, well, on this trip I guess I wasn't able to find a uh, stop sign, but it's pretty much the same as um, a stoplight 
it stops and then you tell it to go and it goes through. So anyway, so that's the latest from uh, autopilot. That's the current state. Uh, looking forward to when there's less and less that the driver needs to do. And uh, also for when city, when it will start doing turns on city streets. That'll be next level. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.